The situation at filling stations here could be misleading. Most filling stations here do not have fuel, but those with the product in stock have cars trickling in one after the other. This is because fuel is still sold between 160 naira and 200 naira per liter. There are however chaotic scenes at the NNPC mega station along the ring road west bypass in Oshobo. Motorists and commercial motorcyclists are scrambling for fuel, but the state commandant of the civil defense is on ground to intervene. With calm restored, Commandant Ayodele Phillips says the civil defense will collaborate with the police to restore order and sanity at the petrol stations to ensure a reduction of the long queues. This is at a time motorists are accusing security agents of benefiting from the chaos at the stations. Oh man, terrible. It's been hectic. I've been here since morning. But I have to tell you that uh, the staff of the filling station, they are trying, they are doing their best. But we pray on the federal government to release more of the tanks they have promised so that the so everything will be eased with the society. Uh, it's been very, very hectic. It's serious. Seriously, it's serious. I've been here since 9 o'clock in the morning when I saw the uh, fleet that contains the fuel. I've been here since morning and this is around 6 p.m. in the evening or 6.30 in the evening. I jo I'm just getting my car filled with the fuel. It's not easy. It's not easy. I wish to appeal to the government to do something quickly, as soon as possible. It's not easy. Nigeria are crying. Nigeria are The place was jam packed and um, my officers couldn't uh, contain the, the crowd. The crowd was just too much for them. So I had to mobilize again and ensure that, personally, I'm on ground to ensure that um, my presence would at least give some respect to any other security agencies who will be able to manage the situation together. Well, I've mobilized for more security officers to come. And even the police that are here, I've been able to talk to them for, for us to collaborate and ensure that um, this uh, jump parking and this exit is cleared. To me, security agents too are part, they are Nigerians too. Some of them too are eager to get these products at the price that I'm talking, at the prevailing price at the mega station. So that's why you see some of them too trying to force themselves into the filling stations to buy fuel. We cannot rule that out, but there must be decorum and decency in the way uh, security agents should behave. NSDC commandant says security agents must learn to focus on their constitutional duties despite present issues around them. But Nigerians want the federal government to intensify efforts and ensure adequate fuel supplies across the country. Also, you know, like yesterday, I don't do for the fuel station. We be say, now nah, I am a to sleep. Yesterday, this morning time, as well as I see, come, come carry my motor, come keep for the fuel. Uh, before we see fuel, they had now so, but the fuel is cut for town, is cost for town. But this fuel station, our government too. It's very different for another police station. But there are already everything we find. We are doing the police station. Uh, the thing we are wanting the federal government to say, may they try the, all the capacity we they have to maintain us, our people, to, to maintain the fair, to, to come down very, very well. May anybody they see fair or any place for normal price. Uh, I have been in this place for good two days now. I've been here since five o'clock this morning because I can get the fuel by this time of the day. Look at my pico, they have already brushed it at that or something. I waited there for more than uh, 12 and a half hours now before I can get fuel from this place now. And I left my pico here for good two days. This is the third day. So the third day now I can get the fuel down. So it is not an easy, it is not an easy task. It's very, very terrible. With the fuel crisis still lingering on, Nigerians cannot but wait to heave a sigh of relief. Rashid Rashid, PTV News, Oshobo.